First we're going to review how to factor a GCF only, which is 7.1. GCF only means that we should put every term in the box. So if I want to factor 10x to the fourth minus 25x, then I'm going to rewrite my problem. Oops, forgot my x there. Put it in the box. And remember, the first thing I need to do is find my GCF. So my GCF of 10 and 25 is the biggest thing that goes into 10 and goes into 25, so that would be 5. Then with my variables, I need to look at my exponents and take the lowest exponent. So my lowest exponent is 1. So I should take out a 5x. And then I think in terms of multiplication. What times 5 is 10? 2. What times x to the first power is x to the fourth? x cubed. There, all we did is subtract 4 minus 1 gives me 3. Then negative 5 times 5 will give me 25, and I already have my x to the first power, so my answer would be 5x times 2x cubed minus 5. And if I check and distribute back out, 5x times 2x to the third is 10x to the fourth. 5x times negative 5 is negative 25x, so I know I've gotten it right. Here's one of the problems that always cause a lot of issues. Say we have x to the seventh plus x to the sixth plus x. So first I need to put everything in my box. Then I need to find my GCF. And my GCF means I'm taking the lowest exponent. So my lowest exponent is one. Then I have to think in terms of multiplication. What times x is x to the seventh? X to the sixth. What times x is x to the sixth? X to the fifth. And what times x is x? One. Don't forget your addition. So my final answer is x times x to the sixth plus x to the fifth plus 1, and I can always double check with distributing that that is correct. One thing you should be noticing is that if I start with three terms, I should have three terms in my parentheses. If I start with two terms, I should have two terms in my parentheses. What you want to be careful of is when I see something like 6x squared plus 12x, not automatically saying that 2 is your GCF. Yes, 6 times 2 is 12, but is that the biggest thing that goes in? No. The biggest thing that goes into 6 and 12 is 6. I can take out an x because it's in both boxes. What times 6x is 6x squared? That would be x. What times 6x is 12x? 2, so my answer would just be 6x times x plus 2. And once again, what we're really doing is division. So we're really saying 6x squared plus 12x, and we're dividing both of those by 6x. So 6 over 6 cancels and gives me 1x squared over x gives me 1x plus 6 or 12 over 6 is 2 x over x cancels and then I put my GCF out front and that is going to help us when we need to factor completely factor completely when we have things like 50 x squared minus 32 so I need to look for a GCF which is 2 and I need to divide both of my terms by 2. 
which leaves me with 25x squared minus 16. And then what I have left is two terms, so I want to check for a difference of squares. We have subtraction, we have perfect squares, we have even exponents, so that means that I can factor the inside as 5x plus 4 and 5x minus 4. Being careful to remember my GCF goes out front. So now we've factored it completely. And I could have written this part with the GCF inside my box. Let me show you what that would look like. I could put it in the box because I need to check for a GCF. My GCF is 2. What times 2 is 50? 25. I still have my x squared minus 16. And then I'm really checking this top line to see if it can be factored any further. What about 2x squared plus 14x plus 20? When writing those down, I notice all of those are divisible by 2. So 2 is my GCF. I'm going to go ahead and write that down with my answers. What I have left is x squared plus 7x plus 10. And now I'm going to check that. It's three terms. A is 1, so I need to use the x, or at least check if I can use the x. So I say what multiplies to 10 and adds to 7. Is there something that multiplies to 10 and adds to 7? Yes, 5 and 2. So I can factor using x factor. x plus 5, x plus 2. So hopefully that those few problems will help you remember how to factor out a GCF. Feel free to look at my website that has the resources on it to get more help. Mrs-Hester.Weebly.com and we are in Unit 7. Steady for your test.